What's up guys, Tavern here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Tomb Raider. In the last episode, we progressed further into the shanty town and met up with Grim. However, we're trying to reach where he's at over there and we can't because the way has been cut off. So we're going to have to come a, ah, kind of have to go around in order to get to him. So, next way we're going to progress is we're actually going to climb up through here and make our way around the outer perimeter because they got a whole cargo conveyor belt thing going on in midair so we're going to try to use that to get around so as always please let me know how your day is going down in the comment section below uh this is recording session number three so it's happening at the same time as uh the last episode is just much further on in the day where are you guys no one's over okay they're all over there And let's stealthily take you out. Oh, you can see their bodies flying from here. Oh, I can get down from here. Okay. No. Oh, no. I can't hear anything. Okay, that was my fault. I don't know why. I Just for a second, like, everything just went dark. I could not hear anything. It's not much an excuse. I'm not trying to make an excuse. I was just bad. I shouldn't have did that. What? Oh, okay. Someone messaged me. Oh, well. I'll talk to them later. Why would they message me, like, this late at night? Granted, I would still be awake normally at this time of night, but they don't know that. Oh, well, they will. They know me. Alright. So, first, let us actually clear a pathway. For us to safely get down first. The same guy is still alive, but we can easily fix that. Alright, so this is this was better. Oh hell! Take that! How do you like being shotgun in the face? Ah, oh, great. Get you. You're really annoying. Uh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, damn it. The windmill stopped me. Oh, I was hoping that was a headshot. Is there anyone else nearby that I can't see? No. Oh, okay. Let's sneeze. The music's still going, so I know there's more enemies nearby. But she got out of the battle stance. Got another, ah, another weapon modification that we can use at a base camp. Yep, I knew it. Hello, please. Who is behind me? Okay. Hell, 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 hell. God damn it. Anyone else? No? I know there's more. Okay, no. Never mind. There isn't no more. She got out the battle stance. I could. That didn't take as much effort as originally needed. But it still kind of fucked me up. <laughs> Especially towards the latter part. And there's a secret tomb nearby. I kind of want to take care of that before moving forward. Where are you on the map? Yeah, it would be you. But your location is this way. I believe. Correct? Oh, I remember this. Uh, this one gives me a lot of salvage. I kind of want to do this, like, right now. Instead of coming back to do this later. Oh, there's a GPS cache, too. I'll grab you, since you're in the way. So, for this thing over here. This, this, oh my god, there's so much salvage. So 
so all those sacks over there have various things of salvage in it for me to get. However, the only way for me to get to it is by utilizing my fire arrows and shooting them at entry points in the holes in order to reach where they are to burn the sacks so they can actually fall down towards the entryway at the bottom and I can collect it all from there in the center part when I come back down. So, if I come all the way over here... I know we we're looking for the hidden tomb just now too, but I got sidetracked by this. So that one's yours. I don't think there's any angle for me to do up here anymore. Or maybe there's that one. And then I feel like the other two are going to be underneath. That one's like right over there. I wasn't paying that much attention to it. So let me actually come back around. Shoot that one out. Or is I mistaken? I was. I think that one's a little too high from this angle. So, let's instead go from underneath and get it. And that last one is... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, it'll be easier from around this way no okay right here and there goes the last one and there goes one of my rifle parts that I needed and we got a shit ton of salvage from doing that alright so not a bad hole and I went further away from the tomb. Let me actually mark this on the map with a waypoint. So that way I know where to go. And I wasn't too far off from where it was anyway. And let's go ahead and activate this base camp. So I can come back here later on. Uh, look at my gear. It's everything for you. Let's go ahead and get the high capacity mag now for the rifle. So that's everything you can do with the rifle for right now. And now we can start upgrading the shotgun. Um, highest one is 400. I'm not too far away from that on salvage, so I'll wait. And I'm feeling like a new outfit. Um, let's try the gorilla outfit. So she's got this tactical vest on now. She looks like um, a character out of Rambo. But yeah, we'll go with this for a little bit until we get further on. Probably like the next two or three episodes I'll keep this on. It's not my favorite outfit, but I like it a bit more than um, the last one we were just utilizing. Anyway, this option was whom. I'm trying to remember what the gimmick was for this one. Oh, also... There were two I missed back at the very first area, but that was just because it was like brand new and I didn't feel like doing it at the point in time. And not, I also forgot about it too until I looked at the map and like, oh wait, there's more here. But I'll cover those later. Right now, whoop! Right now, let's not die. And let's shimmy over here to the right and climb our way back up to stable ground. About as stable as we can get at least. Oh, it's got some amazing upper body strength. Alright, good. We got some more salvage. We're getting pretty close to that 400 already. And if we just keep walking along here, there's a support beam. And I think I just went back in a. S no, I didn't go in a circle quite yet, did I? No. I'm still on track. And, yep, okay, good. We were on the right track. I was right. Sec, like, I always get so turned around in there. Oh, gosh. Not this one.
Okay, so you're not going to say anything when I sit down, so that's fine. Jump over here. So this one's utilizing weights. Um, just for clarity. Uh, I, if I pull you, you'll... Okay, I need that to destroy the platform over there that has one of the weights that I'm going to need. Excellent. Grab you. And toss you on that side. Because the goal is to put all the weight right here so I can run and jump over to that wall over there. And I just need to support my weight long enough for me to do my job to reach the other end. That was the quickest way to break that, honestly. Oh, no. I need to take this with me. Thank you. Yeah, let's just, just drop it. Release. No. Just let it go. That should be all four of them if I'm guessing correctly, if I'm remembering correctly, at least. Yeah, that should be all of them. And I should be able to quickly run. And, okay, there was another raid over there, but I didn't need it. I had enough. Stabilize me. And let's just keep going to the side. And just quick... No? Other way? And grab onto the ladder. It's being rained down on, and that's pretty much it. We're already done. Go ahead and collect the treasure. And we got a base. Ah, it's a base point, a skill point. We got another handgun part too, so we're looking pretty good. Just one more and then we can start upgrading our handgun again. And we'll take our way out of here. Do the little slide up top. And we can head back out. And actually continue on to where we we're originally going. So meet back up with Grim. So let me actually just cut back out of here. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, okay. Before on our way out of the cave, I noticed there's another thing glowing over here so that's one of the GPS caches I need to get so this is just outside the cave we were coming out to begin with so I guess this will be a good point for us to come back at all right and we're trying to go over there I can take this wave point off now that I got it and I'll collect this salvage while we're here and we're already past the 400 we needed and I I'm right next to the thing I might as well use it First, the skill point. Uh, is there anything else? I can't do this one yet, so I'll wait. Increase my climbing skills. I haven't put any into the hunter in a while. Focus allows you more time to aim deadly shots with your bow. Let's go with Heavy Lifter, just to increase my ammunition again. And pretty much all my other skill points are going to be going into Survivor for right now, and then once that's all maxed out, then I'll be going towards the other ones. Alright, Shotgun, take care of the full choke that we talked about. And the next one we're going to aim for is the Barrel Shroud. Alright, so we're all set with that. Heading that way, so let's keep. Oh my god, there's still so many stuff over here. I keep finding like salads that I really want, and I don't want to ignore it. Because the sooner I can get the stuff done, the better. And some of them might contain parts I need to upgrade my guns. And that's something you can destroy for one of the challenges, but like I said, I'll be getting those later. 
Okay, no. Me going down there is not going to help. It's going to honestly put me, set me back. Instead, I need to go back up from where I originally started. Ah, okay. So we'll wait for one to get closer, jump on it, and we'll ride it upwards. And that should let us meet up with Grim. Oh, let me just move on to this one. Wait on the loop around, and this should be it. Now we just have to slowly wait. Okay, so that's not good. Right when we caught back up with him, too. Alright, so let's go ahead and get off. And, oh, I forgot. Gated fence really won't do anything. Chain link fence, there we go. Where is the rest of you guys? Come on. Oh, darn it. You made it through. Oh, oh, you throw stuff. That's, that's nice. Always run out of ammo for the machine gun. Oh, fuck. That was close. That thing sets off the barrel, that would have killed me. Where are you? You're done for, and I got hit. Not quite a headshot. Oh, I didn't even mean to freaking really shoot you. I wanted to get the barrel behind you to take out you and the rest of your buddies. No. Okay. Oh, no. Alright. That's... Shit. Sh oh, god damn it, the fire got me! Back down here since it's safe. Reload. Let's shoot barrel behind him. Just be safe and clear out those guys. And next time you keep your head out, you're getting shot in it. There we go. Still more. Oh, almost shot in the back. Oh, come on, go down. Oh, cool, I got my dead eye trophy. Nope. Where are you at? Okay, yeah, no. Let's just finish you off. I need to play up my food. Do have eight more rounds. Good gun. Switch my bow. Okay, it did it again where the audio cuts out. Oh. Anyone else? Grim, a 
I'll make them pay. It's a pretty somber way to end off this episode. But this is where we're going to leave it off, guys. So thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Tomb Raider. Um, we got a decent way um, bit through here. At this point, we're at the very last bit of the shanty town. Um, all we have to do now is just head towards the direction where Grim went in order to progress the story. But that is going to be it. And I will continue on from here in the next video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, give the video a like, leave a comment. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and to stay notified on upcoming videos remember to hit the bell icon ah, bell icon until then please let me know how your day is going down in the comment section below and i'll talk to you guys later so until then take care everyone